Hello everyone, so today's video is, well, actually, pretty normal. I know for the past couple of videos I've been saying this video is a little bit different, this video is a lot different, blah 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 Um, but this video is actually back to normal, uh, for the most part. It's a drawing video. I am drawing something a little bit different. Um, this is a little sea creature, because, um... I, I don't know. I don't know why, but I just I just felt like I needed to draw a sea creature and I felt like I needed to make him look like this. So that's that's why that's why this exists. Um anyways. So uh I know last time I drew something that was not a human. <sighs> Didn't exactly work out but i i said i said in that video that we were going to forget about that so we're going to forget about it okay that didn't happen i'm going to redeem myself from that it will it didn't happen anyway so i'm not redeeming myself i uh, uh, i i don't know okay so uh just let you know off screen i was looking at um, references of frogs, axolotls, um, just random little colorful fish and stuff. Uh, that's kind of my re what my references were, and I feel like this was actually a really great exercise for sort of uh, using references correctly, uh, if that makes any sense, because you're not really exactly, like, taking parts from you're not you're not you're trying to not just steal parts from each of the animals because then it kind of looks obvious that you stole those parts from the different animals so i think that if you're wanting to learn um how to use references uh better in art uh try this try making your own little creature it doesn't have to be a sea creature it can be a land creature a flying bird thing a pterodactyl i don't know whatever and just try looking at references of real life animals and you know it might you might figure it out i don't know because i know that uh for me when i was little and just beginning drawing i thought that you either a drew directly and copied the exact one singular reference picture that you looked at or B, you had no references and you just drew everything from imagination. But in reality, what you actually need to do in order to make your drawing come out how you want it, you actually need to use a little combination of both. Looking at pictures, plural, multiple, um, and also part of your imagination and your knowledge that you already have of that certain subject and you can make something really cool, you know? Um, anyways, so, on to the little features of this creature. Well, uh, it has, uh, I'm guessing that this creature is more of like a semi-aquatic, like it can live on land or water, but I'm thinking mainly water, but maybe it can kind of like come out of the water to, I, I don't know, whatever. It's fictional. It doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna get all science-y with it, cause I don't want to, but, um, yeah. So, he's got little, I guess, uh, legs, and, yeah, they do look quite like a frog's. Um, I just said that I didn't want it to look like I stole parts directly from certain animals. Yeah, the legs definitely look like I stole them from a certain animal. But that's okay because I think it's one of the only, maybe the only thing that you can really pick out the specific animal that that may be from. Uh, as you can see, he's got a very long tongue. I don't know, that just might be useful for the types of animals that it eats or sea plants, aquatic plants. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not getting all sciencey, so I haven't decided what it eats or anything. I. I'm, I'm just not gonna do that. He has these little antenna thingies with like little hair things. I don't, they're not hairs. 
they're just little like feely things and they're also not really like antennae i don't know what to call them those little orange things that are on its back yeah those uh he's also got on the like more to the back but like the side uh at the like sort of base of his tail where it like connects to its body um he's got these little like fin slash um flipper things and i really like those those are pretty cool um and then he's got like his little tail fin and his eyes are really neat i like that they're yellow um and yeah that's my little creature i hope you like him uh, i even made this little like ocean background with some little bubbles and some light i do realize that the shading uh doesn't really go with the lighting of the background but that's okay we're just gonna ignore that okay that's fine so before i go i would just like to thank you all so much for over 10 subscribers um i know i haven't really mentioned anything about this yet but just know that it really does mean uh, a lot to me um and that may not sound like much but for just starting out um that is like amazing to me that i have like one four videos out and uh currently while i'm recording uh i have 12 subscribers so just thank you so much for that uh anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video bye